born on 2nd October 1869 in Porbandar, Gujarat. Indian lawyer, anti-colonial nationalist and political atheist who employed non-violent resistance to lead the successful campaign for India's independence from the British rule. In that attempt, he went to jail several times on the charges of sedition. He led the march to Dandi where he broke the salt law by making salt which was illegal at that time. Many people were with him at that time. He also gave the famous speech of do or die. By that he meant we must fight for the independence of our country or die trying. His allies came to become many famous leaders like Jawaharlal Nehru, Sardar Patel, Maulana Azad. Sabarmati Ashram was place he lived in which hold the idea of Vashak Jan which means God's people. Later on he was assassinated on 30th January 1948 and still people are trying to kill him by ridiculing his ideas but the fact is his ideas was alive and will be forever. Good morning everyone, it's Sachal Kashyap from class 11G standing before you with my documentary on Mr. B. So please watch and enjoy it. Thank you. Rowan Atkinson was born in a middle-class family on January 6, 1955. He suffered terribly as a child because of his suffering. He was also teased and bullied at school because of his looks. His bullies thought that he looked like an alien. He was soon marked as a strange and become a very shy kid who didn't have many friends. So he dived into science. One of his teachers said, there was nothing outstanding about him. I didn't expect him to become a scientist, but Rowan Atkinson proved everybody wrong and got admitted in Oxford University. During his day in Oxford University, he started falling in love with acting but couldn't perform due to his speaking disorder. So he got master degree in electrical engineering. After getting the degree, he enrolled in comedy group, but lots of TV shows rejected him. He had great passion in making people laugh and he also knew that he is good in this. After struggling, Rowan Atkinson co-created a strange serial and non-speaking character known as Mr. Bean. Even though he had success with other shows, but Mr. Bean made him globally famous. And Mr. Bean teaches that to be successful in life, the most important things are passion, hard work, dedication, and never giving up. At last, I want to say that never judge a book by its cover. Thank you. So, a very warm welcome to everyone in this biography of Dr. Bhimra Ambedkar, popularly known as Baba Sahib Ambedkar. In this video, we are going to talk about Dr. Ambedkar's immense role in Republic India. Born in Madhya Pradesh on the date of 14 April 1891 in Mahar caste that is considered as Dalit which is recognized as untouchable. After such difficulty also he studied there and for further education he went out. His qualifications are enough to show the dedication of Dr. Ambedkar towards education. Dr. Ambedkar always regarded education as a means to reach the doors of light and the perception to remove the regions of darkness. These are some of the clips of Dr. Ambedkar when he was welcomed by the people. Finally, on the historical day of India's independence on 15 August 1947, Dr. Ambedkar got the opportunity to serve the nation as its first law minister and on 29 August, he was appointed as the chairman of Constitutional Drafting Committee. From the starting of his lifetime, he was always humiliated because of being from a lower caste. But he fought against it and questioned that what my ancestors did, should I? perform that only and the answer he said that it is not necessary to do the work that they did only. 
On 6 December 1956, Dr. Bhim Rao Ambedkar died due to health issues, but he will be always remembered in our hearts. Dr. Bhim Rao Ambedkar taught us the real meaning of education and its importance, and he proved that it is not necessary that powerful people come from powerful places only. After 34 years of death. That is on 1990 Dr Ambedkar was awarded as the Bharat Ratna the highest civilian award We will be always thankful to such a worthy leader who drafted such a constitution looking upon every diversity in India Dr Ambedkar is really the greatest Indian personality in the world So I would like to end here and this all for my presentation Hello respected people today we are going to know a great person and the great scientist story let's get into the video Nikola Tesla was born on 1856 in midnight of 9th and 10th July Tesla always wanted to study so he asked his father if he will allow him to study then he will be fine his mind he was always having interest in science mainly in electric field he asked his father to make his admission in prostyer polytechnic college so he can study he was so genius that he was number 1 in all nine exams after years tesla got a job in edison's france unit he was there to improve the motor idea when he thought that dc current is too not useful as it takes lot of energy to travel long distances tesla have some funding issue also this ac and dc current war started tesla was criticized very much this was so horrible that for death punishments ac current was used to show people how it was dangerous but he had never stopped and he gets what he was deserved how much is useful ac current and all his technology most prominent freedom fighter of india he was born on 28 september 1907 in banga village at lianpur district in punjab in a sikh family his father name was kishan singh and his mother name was vidyavati his father kishan singh and his uncle ajit singh were also freedom fighters so bhagat singh was also inspired him to join the movement The title of Shaheed e Azam was given to Bhagat Singh for his sacrifice in young age. The most famous slogan in Club Zindabad was given by Bhagat Singh. Bhagat Singh, Sukhdev, Thapar and Rajguru were hanged by British rulers on 23 March 1931. Every year 23 March celebrated as a Shaheed Divas in India. His courage and ideologies helped India to gain independence on 15th August 1947. Indian people still pay tribute to this great hero for his sacrifice. courageous and brave captain vikram batra captain vikram batra was a captain of indian army awarded with the param veer chakra india's highest and most prestigious award for valor 
for his actions during the 1999 Kargil war. He led one of the most toughest operations in mountain warfare in Indian history. He was often referred as Sher Shah in the interceptor of the Pakistani army. the one of them after wrong we are celebrating Kargil Vijay Divas. Thank you. A fighter who says being a fighter is a good thing. And every medal is a story of a struggle. A struggle with poverty, with a social mindset which limits women ambition and with a father who believes boxing ruins all marriage prospects. But it's the struggle which made her strong, taught her the fear can inflict more damage than any abhorrent and that's the challenges outside the ring are far bigger by the juggling a role of mother, wife, homemaker, without putting any limits on training, by trying to make a comeback after two pregnancies, betting all laws and going to win six world championship and Olympic bronze they say that great glories comes with a greater responsibilities and she have a share in her corner of running her own academy of being a setting Rajya Sabha MP, ensuring that she never misses a session, ensuring that she never misses a boxing. She is not done because even at the 36, at the age when the post boxers retire, she is driven to beyond any limits while striving towards ultimate goals the olympic gold this is what make her limitless and that's why she says being a fighter is a good thing she is the only female to win the world amateur boxing championship six times the only female boxer to have won a medal in each one of the first seven world championship and the only boxer to win the eight world championship medals she is the only Indian female boxer to have qualified for the 2012 Summer Olympics, competing in the flyweight 51 kg category and winning a bronze medal. She had also been ranked as the world's number one female light flyweight by the International Boxing Association. She became the first Indian female boxer to win a gold medal in the Asian Games in 2014 at South Korea and is the first Indian female boxer to win gold at the 2018 Commonwealth Games. That is the reason she is called as the Magnificent Mary and hence she is the inspiration for all of us.